In this video, we're going to use the Lightburn software to create a brooch using a grayscale image of a portrait that you've got from the internet. Or possibly you could bring in a photo of your own, but it needs to be black and white. So file, import, open. Now first job is to get that to a, a more brooch or badge like size. So I keep the padlock locked. I'm going to put and make this about 50 millimeters that is. Zoom in, scroll in with the wheel on the mouse. We need to go to the window and we're going to make sure that is filled and smooth. And in edit settings, we have a snap distance of 0.0. .0. OK. We're just going to create the frame. So it's a rectangle tool. I'll make that the same. So that was 50. Click on the cursor. 50, 57. Click on my square. Unlock the padlock. 50. 57. I'm going to create another rectangle. That's an outer rectangle, an inner rectangle. I'll just move that out of the way. Move James Stewart out of the way. Another rectangle. Click on that. Problem is I was still on the rectangle tool, so undo that, click onto the cursor. There we go. So we're going to make this 10 millimeters small, so a 5 millimeter frame all around. So this will be 40. And 47. Now I'm going to align them, look pretty good but not perfect. Click on both of them, hold down, control, sorry, shift, alignment tools, align, vertical center, align horizontal center. Didn't move much but it did. Now I'm going to group those. Actually before I do that we're going to just have one which will be the final, will be a cutout. So that's going to end up in a frame. We're just going to change the color. We'll copy that first, control C, control V, scroll out and move that out of the way to make that one, this one, all of these blue, and they'll be cut files. So they can be cut or scanned. If I go to scan, they fill in, but we don't want them to be scanned, we're just going to cut them. These ones we're going to group. This group here. And the next thing we're going to do, we'll zoom into Jimmy Stewart. We're going to just use the pencil tool and we're going to trace around the outline of the different parts of the face, tie, and a suit. And they will be cut out, out of different materials and it will be assembled in different, more creative ways. So, pencil tool, we'll zoom in a bit more. on blue, every click of the mouse, they're all straight lines but creating vertex points. This is with the left mouse button. Go around the ears. Now we can on these big curves create much larger transitions and we can attach toggles later and we can form curves. But in the smaller detail it's probably just going to be quicker just to put in a series of straight lines because this is actually very small. Left mouse click and then right mouse click to close. Now we're going to click onto it. Made a mistake, got to be on the cursor, click on that one, delete it, click on to, to edit nodes, and you can see there we've got a whole lot of nodes. Now what you can do is we can zoom in, you can adjust the nodes, you can insert them, hover over and 
click on I to insert, then hover over and go D, delete, I'll put it, uh, I for insert, and you can adjust those. Right, that's better. Now what you can do, if you hover over the center of the line, and you press S for smooth, it is put on some toggle points. Now it's a bit hard on this grayscale, but you can see one there. And you can click on it. So left mouse click and drag it. You can see I'm starting to create the curve. There's the other one. That was very slow to respond. And you can adjust it up and down and across to try and get the right adjustment. That looks pretty good. Hover over S, and adjust his chin. S for smooth. Looks pretty good. Insert a vertex there. I. S for smooth. I couldn't see that one. So what we'll do, we'll put this on back. That was just because it's black on black, it's hard to see. All right. I'm just going to insert the vertex points here. One there, all right. And that looks pretty good. Just going to click off it, cursor. So that's his head. And what we'll be doing is cutting out his head. We'll laser engrave this, cut out his head, and we'll end up using that in the badge or brooch. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the shoulders and the tie. But I'll do them, and then when I'm finished, we'll jump through to it being done. Okay, I finished that job. And I've done the shoulders and the tie, and these are going to be cut out of different materials, including the frame and the back. Now I've just set up on the speeds and powers. So the first thing we're going to set up is doing the laser cut for the plywood and the laser scan for the plywood. Now if we go on to this preview screen, we can see what it's going to do. So down here it says black lines are cuts and red lines are moving in between. So it looks okay. Now we just need to set everything up. So image file, now down here in the library, we need to make sure actually that you're on the router, the router controller, the, which is the, the big laser cutter. And then in the library, we'll set some things up. You need to go to router badge plywood, and we'll do the image, click on image, and then go assign to layer. Then on all the other ones, we're going to assign those as well. So we're just going to do the timber for a start. So the blue is going to be the cut, assigned to layer. Now those are already set up, I think. Assigned to layer. This green one has not. And see it says 120, assigned to layer. That has now changed to 10 millimeters a second at 30% power. So we can cut, we're going to cut all these different parts out in plywood and we can assemble them in different ways and we'll do a few different colours of acrylic. So potentially in this sort of situation you can make a couple of badges. So this is going to be plywood. So I'm going to 
I'm going to save what I've got here as a master file. Save as. This is the uh, man. Now that we've everything done, we also need to get this inner frame size, and that will be the size of the plywood or acrylic parts that go into there. So I'm going to ungroup that. Click on this one. Control C, Control V. Group this again. And we're going to place this one. Move it. Okay, so we're just going to cut that out. So we're going to delete these two, delete, and we're going to save it. Save as this one's plywood. Now in your Google Drive, we set up a folder called Shared Resources. What you need to do is save this, and then you're going to make a copy, and you're going to drag and drop it into the Shared Resources Drive for the appropriate material. So the B1 for plywood. So you've just got to make sure you name your file and say what the material is, and then drop it into the appropriate folder. Save. So I'm going to undo that. Edit undo. So that's what's going to be plywood, all laser engraved. Okay, now we're going to delete that and we're going to cut out the frame and the back out of black. So we're going to do the rest in acrylic. So we're going to go to Bruder Badge Acrylic, cut, assign to allow that was on 30, that's changed to 40. File, save as. Edit undo. What's wrong one? Edit undo. Now this time we're going to cut out the different parts. Like in this one, I'm going to do probably have the face will be the plywood, and we might have different coloured acrylics for the suit and the tie. So I'm going to turn off the image. Just on here in output, and then if we go to there, it's no longer shows. Okay, we're not going to do those ones, delete those. And I'm going to change all of these from the plywood to the acrylic. Assign to layer, assign to layer, these will change into 40 for the power, and the image is turned off so it won't do it. And I'm just going to save this multiple times. Do one red and one mirror. Mirror acrylic. Save as. File. Save as. Right, I think we're done. I'm just going to open my master. Now it doesn't matter where you do this on this representation of a laser bead, because what we're going to do, if we go into the red folder, we're going to copy all of the files from the red folder, and we're going to put them into the one document and then move them into, we're going to cluster them into an area so we get the most efficient use out of the pieces of acrylic or plywood. And we'll have multiple students work in the same one so we can get a really yeah, efficient use of the material. Another important point to consider is the order of the laser cutting and laser engraving. It's important that you have the image at the top and the cuts below. 
if you have the cuts before the image, there's potential that small items like the tie will get cut, then fall out and won't have a chance to get the laser engraving of the image into them. So I'll just draw the slider back. So it's priority one was doing the grayscale image. And then as it gets to the end, it starts to do the other sections. Let's do that again. Another point is that the frame does not have to be the outside frame doesn't have to be exactly the same size as the rectangle of your image and it can even be a different shape. As long as the inner square, the bit that's getting cut out, is smaller. As I just said, it also doesn't have to be a rectangle, it could be an oval or a circle. This one here just testing out different speeds and powers. Thanks for watching another video by Digital Dovetail. Like and subscribe.